Hi Patrick, great, yeah. great, great to see you. Nice to finally see you in, yeah. uh, in person. Well, welcome. Takeda, we're, we're a neuroscience company and we're, we're a big company. Um, but, you know, we're small in the grand scheme of things in terms of the number of neuroscientists that we have compared to the, the global number of neuroscientists that, that, that exist. And, you know, even beyond that, the technologies that we want to invest in to make medicines for neuroscience patients come from, from all around the world. You know, when we, when we got into the oligonucleotide field, we really wanted to push the boundaries and, and really make medicines that were much more convenient for patients that they could take through systemic routes of administration and also um, ensure that the, the, the drug actually got to the parts of the brain and the muscle and peripheral organs that it needed to get to. Mm. Yeah. Well, we were really happy that you guys, of course, reached out to us. I think, you know, at the time for a company like Peptidream, of course, as a, as a platform-based company, um, partnering is everything. Um, and it's really hard for one company by itself, right, to be on top of, say, all of the breakthroughs and all of the technology advances that happen. Uh, and so working with other companies is, is critical to, to any of those efforts. And, 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 you know, for us, partnerships are all about getting different perspectives uh, so that we can solve the problems in, in the best way. It was you know, very clear that, you know, your, your scientists come from a slightly different background, have different experiences. Our, our team is, again, slightly different. And, and so when we come across problems, you know, we can look at it in different ways and see what the best solution is. What, you know, one of the key things for us was, was the leadership, not, not just the scientists, because without the leadership giving the support and you know, really sharing that vision, yeah. you can't really move, move the programs forward. And you know, these programs take a long time to reach the clinic. And, and so you need that stability of leadership and support for the, for the scientists. I, I fully agree. I think it's been nice to see the teams, of course, we both attend these, yeah. these meetings to, to see the interaction between the two. Takeda is the, is the strong oligo side and we're the peptide side. And so it's very much given and give and take. And, and I think people leveraging their individual skill sets, but also completely willing to listen to the other partner about the experience that each partner has. And I think that open dialogue is, is really important for solving these problems. And that, that was there from the get-go. I, mean, yeah. I mean, it was clear the scientists were, were very engaged with one another, really shared the vision and, and really knew where they, where they wanted to go with that. And yeah. that enabled, enabled me to sit back a little bit and relax. <laughs> you know, I could see the confidence in our scientists and your scientists yeah. and, and vice versa. And I think that, that was a really good foundation for, for this partnership. It was obvious that this wasn't just the scientific teams wanting to collaborate. It was also the business development, right? It was also management clearly stating this is exactly what we want to do. So to be honest with you, we have a lot of partnering experience and that's not always as common as you'd like it to be. So uh, again, I was really impressed. I think as a company, we, we felt, yeah, Takeda was the right, was the right partner uh, to partner these assets with. And... Kerry, when we were when we were looking for partners to or, or partners to, to partner up with these TFR carrier peptides, of course, uh, there was a good amount of interest from a, a number of companies. I, I think, of course, yeah, yeah. right, the ability to carry cargos into the brain, of course, is, has been an area of, of active research, right? Um, and and I think when Peptidine was kind of considering the various pros and cons of various partners, um, uh, we we were largely probably focused on, of course. You know, we're going to hand over these peptides to a company, and can a company really put the resources behind, you know, their effort? And, and do they have a game plan, right? You know, I think Peptidium really felt that Takeda actually checked all the boxes. Right. Certainly the scientific team discussions uh, that started earlier, early on, were very good between the two companies. And of course, the feasibility studies that were, were done. So there clearly was a, a, an excellent, say, line of communication or, or collaboration spirit between the two scientific branches of the company. In, in this case, we really felt it was kind of selling mutually to each other, right? This was right. really going to become a, a partnership and a marriage of sorts. Yeah, from, from, from our side, you know, as we went into, into this deal look, looking for a partner, you know, we were cognizant that it was a competitive area and, and yeah. lots of people would be talking to you and, and we wanted you to be confident in us. And, and so, yeah, it was a pitch on both sides. It was us telling you what we've got and get, getting you confident with the fact that we would make a medicine because that's both 
both of our visions. We want to make the medicines, and, and so you have to be comfortable that we had you know, the right part of the, the molecule as well as you having the right, right part of the molecule that we can bring together. And I, I think that that was you know a really important first step um, in the in the conversation was to get everyone confident in each other, and yeah, yeah. and and that 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 worked worked very well, and that really helped us to 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 actually work with our senior management as well to gain their confidence in the, in making the investment, and you know that it was clear that they they they, they saw the potential in in this in this partnership and, and wanted to do that. You know, we could really feel that that Takeda was very receptive to the kind of the, the key points for us in a deal, you know, um, and then that the business development side and, and senior management at Takeda, um, again, was very willing to hear out Peptidream what, what the important parts of a collaboration would be for us or a deal would be for us. You know, that was, a, I think, a main reason for us wanting to, to work with Takeda. Um, and, and of course, the scientific presence in Japan, you know, being located right. in Shonan, and then of course the global sites. I think that was, as, as you know, we mentioned, was kind of just a, a really icing on the cake, right? Just really, uh, really a, a, an extra, that, a built-in extra uh, right. to the overall relationship. Peptidream, I think, we're a company built on partnering. You know, when you when you have a discovery platform and. You know, our goal as a company is to become a drug discovery powerhouse. Uh, but I think for a company like us, it's less about who brings it all the way to market, it's just how efficient that can be done. You know, and, and again, getting these novel drugs with all of the challenges that uh, exist in bringing them all the way there, you know, having the right partnership uh, um, and the right partner to actually to, to get them there. And for Peptidin, that's uh, the most critical I think part of our business model is to surround ourselves and to partner with the very best companies. Right, and and and, and for us, you know, the partnership is all about the patient getting the medicines to the patient, and and to to get the best medicines to the patient, which which really do treat their disease holistically. And I think this partnership is is really spot on in that respect because. You know, you, you've spent a lot of time looking at this technology, so you're already several years ahead, and we're, we're, we can actually access that, speed up our plan to get the, the medicines through to clinical development and to the patients um, who, who really, really need them. Um, and, you know, Takeda is agile, I mean, but a small biotech is even more <laughs> agile, and, and that agility you know, really, really helps us to, to, to move quickly and pivot around the, the, the problems that we face as, as we move forward. So, you know, partnership is everything to us. Um, you know, we really need, need your help and your expertise, and, and, and at the same time, hopefully we can give something, <laughs> some, some, something to the party as well and, and really drive the best, best molecules forward uh, into clinical development and, and to launch and, and uh, you know, to treat the patients that need them. A very exciting future for, yeah, for both of us. I think that that's the great thing about this relationship is that we both we both know that and, and we understand that there are going to be those problems yeah. and, and and we know that we have to come together as one team to to, to, to really solve those it, yeah. it, it's really become like a, like a family we we often spend a lot of time talking about the science but you know, behind the scenes how we form the relationship the culture that we have um, you know that that that's grown a lot over the last 18 yeah. months but yeah. Now that we will be able to meet more regularly, I think that culture will just just grow and grow and grow and, and really help us take take the medicines through to the to, through to the marketplace. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward. Do great. It.